All right, so let's get started. Step one, you want to remove the battery and be sure the power cable is not plugged in. Step two, using a small flathead screwdriver, remove the cushioning pads uh, that are covering the screws. I place them just to the side of the screw hole so I don't have to worry about losing them. And finally, you remove the screws. Keep them together so you know where they go. Step three, using the small screwdriver, gently pry the clips that are holding the panels together open. Start at the corner and once the first is done, you should be able to see the others and apply gentle pressure. As close to the clip as possible, slowly work your way around the bezel. Step 4, unscrew the screen. There may be more clips hidden around, but uh, gentle pressure will show you where they are. I had extra clips on the bottom uh, hinge that caused a major headache. I ended up taking the keyboard panel and the motherboard cover off just to gain easier access. Take a look at the process because you may want to work inside one someday in the future. In fact, I ended up giving this layer a, a layer of paint later on as well. Uh, this is also the best opportunity to dust the inside, so give it a quick cleaning. Step 5. Once the screen is disconnected, now you need to remove the back panel altogether. If your notebook has a camera, it's easily removed. More clips, or in this case, it was held in by simple pressure. Finally, take off the wireless antenna and the shielding foil. Congratulations! You're done! and now you're ready to go on to the next step. 
This build log features music performed by Tristan Gertsen. And remember, Tech and Cipher is your source for mods, knowledge, and news. So hit that follow button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.